Hey YouTube, today we're gonna to talk about the home staging hook. We wanna talk about how you as a home stager are gonna snag your buyers in the first couple of seconds that they walk in the door of a property that you've staged. So the first thing you wanna do is create spaces that convey the lifestyle of the demographic that you were trying to attract to the house, right? Yeah, yeah. So what are some examples? Um, all right, so think about the house itself and the, and the neighborhood. If the house that you're staging is close to, maybe it's close to a fantastic school in the community, you know this is gonna probably be a home for families with small children. Yeah. So, yeah. what does your home staging design need to encompass? Mm -hmm. Lifestyle with small children, you want play spaces, mm -hmm. homework spaces. Mm -hmm. Multifunctional um, spaces. Multifunctional spaces. Right? Like a space that could easily convert from play space to classroom, mm -hmm. if, that, if that needs to transpire within that family's dynamic. Um, Absolutely, parents need to know that there are places where they can, you know, supervise their children doing homework, you know, mm -hmm. kind of in the main living area, but then that they can also send them to some place kind of quiet where they can get away and do what they need to do. And it's not just for not just for the children. Adults need workspaces in the home these days as well, right? Right, mm -hmm. and there probably need to be some options there. Like maybe you need a workspace that's in the in the kitchen area or the, you know, the main living space so that you can also supervise young children at the same time, but also there are gonna be times that you need to have a proper functioning office. And these are things that you can convey as a stager with the right staging inventory. The other things that you wanna think about in terms of lifestyle for people, not only are people wanting and needing to work from home these days, but they're also spending more time at home, relaxing, recreationally, for leisure. Mm -hmm. So you wanna create spaces for a family that give them multiple opportunities for, for relaxation and play as home, at home as well. Yeah, so then you're gonna emphasize your outdoor spaces, right? If you're gonna do any entertaining these days, it's typically outdoors. I don't know about you guys, but we're still, we're spending a lot of time on the back porch. So, you know, investing in your um, staging inventory in terms of outdoor furniture and outdoor pillows and, you know, faux plants and things of that nature that you could fill a, a porch space beautifully is a great investment at this time in, in the real estate market. It really is. Make it cozy, make it welcoming, make it as beautiful as you would make an indoor space, really. Yeah. Because it's essentially becoming an outdoor living room for people. Yes, and those yeah. spaces are just as important as the indoor spaces as, as, as far as we're concerned these days. This is another opportunity to um, get really creative and create like a spa-like retreat for buyers right yeah. like you know to like getting jars of beautiful um, sea sponges and bars of soap and creating that really like luxurious soft aesthetic in the, in your bathrooms and, and in the bedrooms yeah I think that there's some value there um, we're, we're spending like we said more time at home mm -hmm. and to really elevate those spaces yeah. by creating a spa like environment I think will behoove you as a stager so when you're thinking about how to create that spa-like luxury feel in your bedrooms and your bathrooms, um, how do we bring in luxury? You know, you've, you've mentioned these beautiful accessories. Yeah. Um, layer up your pillows, layer up your blankets, mm -hmm. think big baskets and stacks and piles of fluffy white towels. Comfort, people are seeking comfort. Mm -hmm. Think about what you would want for comfort in your own home and incorporate those elements in your staging design. And then take it another step further, right? Like we don't typically have breakfast trays on our beds, but when we're staging a house, yeah. we make sure that there's a tray on the bed with, you know, with all of these, you know, these accessories, these added touches that elevate the space mm -hmm. and convey a lifestyle of luxury. Yeah, beautiful flowers, yeah. books. Sometimes we put a coffee mug or a tea mug. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the things that say rest and relaxation to somebody when they're, especially when they're, you know, walking into the, the main bedroom of, of a home that they're potentially looking to buy. So speaking of lifestyle spaces, we can also take an opportunity here to create lifestyle vignettes in a staged home. You have a lot of opportunities for creativity here. So you, know, you can start, say, a children's room. You can stage it with you know, a stuffed animal or a stack of books. Um, sometimes we like to take a stack of books and tie some twine around it. Um, in a kid's room, you can go, go a little bit with more colorful book um, covers. 
um, you know, a small toy and some pretty throw pillows. Mm -hmm. Or how about a nice stack of um, board games or puzzles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you know, you're con you're conveying this lifestyle, right? So putting a, a sweet little space, maybe even a desk space, with some notebooks and some pencils, and you know. Um, yeah, that's a cute idea. Yeah, other ways to communicate to, to people that this is a good space for children and that they're gonna be comfortable and happy there. Another great place in a staged home to create a lifestyle vignette is in the kitchen. Oh yeah. Yeah. So many opportunities. Yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, I think one of our favorites is the coffee station. Yes. Uh, we don't bring in a big coffee pot, but we'll often use a little, a cute little French press, a couple of beautiful mugs, mm -hmm. a bag of good smelling beans. Mm -hmm. um, we always layer that little station on a tray and we mm -hmm. put a piece of greenery on there to give it a little life. It's just really welcoming and warm for people. Yeah. What are some other ones that we do in the kitchen? Um, other things that you can do, I mean, you can obviously place, uh, you know, set your place settings at the breakfast bar. And another thing that we like to do, although we don't encourage you to display alcohol because you don't want to offend any, you know, certain groups of people. Um, but we'll do like a tray with glasses, you know, Pellegrino bottles and some glasses or, you know, a little, a bowl of chocolates. Um, and again, fresh flowers or even you know faux flowers or, or greenery, just to add life and to create some this sort of visual interest, you know, a focal point for the for the space. Mm -hmm. We touched on the tray in the master bedroom, and again, this is a great place to, you know, look for little uh, luxury items, create that sense of calm, and you know, the lifestyle again, the lifestyle in a bedroom is yeah. going to be relaxation. It's going to be, you know, self care. So um, beautiful candles yes. and um, you know a stack of uh, a couple of novels or a really beautiful um, picture book. Yeah, um, could yeah. be nice on a bedroom tray as well. Mm -hmm. And this is also a great opportunity to put your framed, you know, marketing materials out. Um, we've done that in lots of in lots of different bedrooms. Um, there's so many ways to get creative and kind of do something sweet and unexpected. Another thing that we really like to, do, to use on these trays on the bedroom, um, on the beds, is wooden beads. Because oh, yeah. you can kind of lay them out and it, again, it, it conveys this kind of over the top style mm -hmm. to convey to your buyers. So another way that you can um, kind of create a space that's special and, you know, again, conveying this lifestyle through vignettes is you know what if you were to go to a local farmer's market and get some like handmade soaps and mm. you could put them on a little tray in the bathroom you know yeah. it's just something sweet and thoughtful and it's another opportunity to support local small businesses last but not least light is your home staging superpower it's true it's true <laughs> really you want a minimum of three sources of light for each room that you stage you want your natural light you want your ambient lighting, mm -hmm. and you want your overhead lighting, and you want it all on when it's time for the new buyers to walk through the house. Right, right. So start with your natural lighting. Uh, this means that you need to open up most every blind, most every shade. The only exception to this rule is if there's a really uh, unsightly view out a window and you're trying to detract from it. That's the only instance that I think we would say, don't open that window covering. Otherwise, blinds get open, shades get open, if you've got old, outdated curtains or heavy, heavy drapery that's blocking, you know, a really nice potential um, view and sunlight, take those down. They're really unnecessary. We want all that natural light to pour in. Yep, and then turn on all your lamps. And we always encourage you to use bright light bulbs. You don't want that the the white 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 light bulbs because that doesn't photograph so well. But you do want some warm light. So when you're choosing your light bulbs, you want them to be bright and you want them to be warm, and that just creates this welcoming and and cozy feeling. That's yeah, hard to replicate of any other way. It is, and don't and don't be afraid to use lamps everywhere. We put them on foyer tables. We put them. Um, in pairs on dining t uh, console tables. Mm -hmm. In living rooms, we use usually two tabletop lamps on end tables, mm -hmm. one floor lamp, and then we'll often use 
a, a fourth or a fifth lamp on a sofa table yeah. if we've used that, used that in the space as well. Yeah, yeah, and if there's a console, I mean, we kind of have a rule. If there's a console, it has two lamps, a piece of art, and a vignette mm -hmm. on it. So um, we put light in rooms as frequently as possible. Use it up. Yeah. In your uh, bedrooms, you want to have uh, lamps on every nightstand. Mm -hmm. And then if you have a side dresser or a side console, you should have another lamp there as well. Yeah, yeah. So many great opportunities to hook your buyers when they walk in the door. So guys, if you like this video, hit the like button, drop a comment below. If you have other ideas that you think that we need to add to our list, we love to hear your feedback. Um, hit subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video.